Hey guys, Nicole here, going into a meal prep video for ya while Hank licks the floor. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. We are doing a nice meal prep for you here. Our other ones were not nice. <laughs> they were rude and they were mean and awful. This one's nice. We get a lot of questions about our meal prep. So first I want to show you the nice meal prep and then I'm going to explain what it's all about. First, we got two different types of veggies. We love baby Brussels sprouts and a, a bag of br baby Brussels sprouts goes a very long way. So We've got a couple of these, but we also wanted to have something a little different. So we bought some Thai style frozen veggies. And as you guys will see, we put a bit of low sodium soy sauce, some pepper and some garlic powder on them to season them up and make them sort of taste stir fryish. And how we cook those bad boys is we roasted them in the oven at 450 degrees for 15 minutes, then we flip the trays, another 15, and then our favorite part of the whole process. You turn on your broiler on high in the oven and you get that nice crispy flavor action on the top. It really does take make it taste extra good. Makes a big, big difference. Yeah. Especially when you're eating frozen veggie, I find it just adds so much flavor. You don't even feel like you're eating frozen veggies because of that step. Next, we move on to the rice. We have two containers of jasmine rice. Uh, sometimes we have jasmine, sometimes we have basmati. This literally thrown in a rice cooker, three cups of dry rice, six cups of water, and let it cook. It cooks in about 20 minutes, done. We have rice for workouts, pre-workouts. The reason why we meal prep the way we do is because it is super cost effective for those of you on a budget, just like we are. It is fast and it is effective and because we buy the veggies frozen we can cook them really fast in a tasty way and make them feel delicious and not even like they're frozen and going more towards what nicole said the reason for going into the effective reason we with our schedules, we don't want to like plan out this elaborate meal plan or th overthink things too much. So we want what works. Lean meat, a good carb source, good veggies, and a little bit of fruit sprinkled in. Yes, and because we are, we do work full time and we have our YouTube videos that we like to get out for you to help you guys we need something that is quick with you know an hour to two hours max to meal prep so these things throwing the rice in a rice cooker putting the ground beef in a pot on a stove throwing frozen veggies in the oven we can make them taste delicious with a little simple seasoning and it's quick and then we have food for an entire week for two of us yeah. for two of us and all of these things are really budget friendly. Our meat was 50% off at the grocery store. Our rice, a big bag is 10 bucks and the bag will last us half a year. And the frozen veggies, $7.99 to $8.99 a bag. And it feeds both of us every single day for six days. And that's another question that we get a lot like, I see you guys have the same foods. You really don't eat the same foods every day, do you? And the reason, the answer is yes. And the reason is for what we just said. Budget friendly, fast, and really easy to prepare. And really effective. We're on our seventh year of weight loss. We've both lost 130 pounds each. And yeah. we didn't always, we didn't start like this in our weight loss eating like this, but it, on weeks where we're very busy and we're not running on a lot of time or energy, this kind of meal prep like we're going to show you today really saves our lives. Exactly. And we have one day a week where we let ourselves eat as much as we want, whatever we want. We call it a cheat day, but it really isn't. It's a built-in day 
that helps us stay on track and keep motivated. So we like to eat the same things during the week because it works to help us stay lean and build muscle, but also we allow a day where we can eat whatever we want. So we actually look forward to eating these meals every single day. And I wanted to show you, so we've got our rice and I told you that our meat was 50% off. This is a combination of lean ground pork and lean ground beef. And we will cook it on the stove and then drain all the excess fat. So it ends up being almost like, I don't know, 95% lean. Yeah, I would extra say. lean. Extra lean. And this is another question we get about what kind of protein. We have never, during our whole weight loss journey, we've never overthought the meat. No, nope. anything on sale. And lean. and lean. Lean and on sale. That's our criteria. So anything you like, pork chops that are lean, chicken, fish, whatever, anything you like, as long as it's lean. And for us, lean and cheap. Next, baby spinach. We get asked a lot, why do you guys buy the package stuff? Well, the reason is the baby spinach, it's already ready to go. There's no chopping, cleaning, washing, drying. It's done. You literally grab the spinach, put it in a bowl. We put our meat and our rice in there and we put a tablespoon it's a complete of dressing. meal. Yeah. This is the zesty Italian, the low calorie one from Walmart. It's less than $2 for a bottle and we're done. Our whole meal, protein, veg and rice and it literally takes seconds. And then what I like to do is we buy apples for our pre-workout meal and I put them in a bowl in the fridge so that they're very easy, easily accessible and ready to go. We just grab a couple out of the fridge and we eat that with our rice and spinach and meat bowl. And this is another thing that I love doing. We buy a big bag of baby carrots. And again, a lot of people will say, why do you buy the baby carrots? They're processed, they're, you know, they're soaked in chemicals. We choose our battles and with the baby carrots, you don't have to chop them, peel them or wash them. We just literally, I put them in a Tupperware, I rinse them once, fill the thing with water and these will last a couple of weeks and we pull from the container every day and we eat them with a tablespoon of light ranch dressing which again we always get it when it's on sale and we stock up so for budget friendly it's perfect and baby carrots are fairly cheap for a big bag so it's great again for a budget and it's fast. We, uh, we never claim to be perfect eaters. No. And that's going towards what Nicole said about picking our battles. We subscribe to a theory called opportunity cost. Now that we're doing so much in our life, running our business and working and doing meal prep and working out, what else could we be doing other than chopping up lettuce and cleaning it? Well, for the extra, you know, $2 or whatever, there it is worth it to pay a little more. And then on, you know, the other stuff, we eat very simply to save, to make up for the extra cost of, the, you know, the prepackaged baby carrots or the baby spinach. Yeah, because we would much rather be, you know, spending time with each other or making a really cool video for you guys instead of peeling and chopping carrots and all that stuff. So it makes sense for us to do that we get asked about supplements. Now, supplements can be great, a great supplement. Like we get asked about pre-workouts and BCAs. This goes into cost effectiveness. If you want the best pre-workout, an apple. And some salt. And some salt. We do Himalayan pink rock salt. So here, here's like a cheap version, but very effective version of what you'd buy in the store as like a pre-workout but this is going to cost you like a couple you know probably a dollar each if you add it up we do salt a quarter teaspoon this is what we do now if we want a different type of pre-workout but a really effective one you want your fast acting carbs with you know an apple then a quarter teaspoon of salt we choose the himalayan pink rock salt then a plain old black cup of coffee we yep. did that just last week we had um an espresso. An espresso at home. And it was just as good. And we're like, wow, we could mix this in in our routine as well. Exactly. You don't have to go to a supplement store and buy them. 
the the salt what the salt does is it puts the blood flow carries the blood flow into your muscles to give you a pump which helps you build more muscle baby the caffeine in the black coffee gets your energy going and, and then the car focus. the carbohydrates will help you build muscle and help you help you have enough energy to make it through the workout it also helps with the pump as well the carrying the blood to your muscles which is where you want it when you're working out so great tip cheap and effective pre-workouts it's just like you, you could pay you can pay to have a meal prep service for us right now, it's, we don't do that. We like, we can't afford that. So we make it ourselves and watch this, but not watch, listen to this. Okay. So we cooked all of this at the same time. Why? Because we cooked the meat on the stove. We cooked the veggies in the oven and the rice was cooking in the rice cooker. So literally it took us like an hour and 10 minutes to get all of this cooked and put in the containers. Our rice cooker is like 10 years old and we got, it's like a Black & Decker, I think, rice cooker from- For Cana Christmas. From, yeah, <gasps> we got it at like Walmart or Canadian Tire for something like 19 bucks, like 10 years ago. Yeah, we said, someone, oh yeah, your dad said, what do you want for Christmas? And we said, can we go pick out a rice cooker? Yeah. And that's what we got. And that thing has saved us probably added up in you know the seven years probably a year off of our life <laughs> forever because rice takes a long time to cook on the stove so let's move on to one of my favorite meals so breakfast breakfast is pretty simple it's usually eggs and some carbs some slow digesting carbs um how i do it really quick is i mix a whole egg and a quarter cup of egg whites i cook it on the stove in a pan i fold it up I put it on one of these whole grain English muffins toasted and I toast this while I'm cooking the egg and then I put on a fat free cheese slice and it literally takes me guys like three minutes. And that's why we're not showing you that breakfast for both of us we prep each day because it's so fast. So when you need a really fast breakfast every week I get a really good deal on the English muffins. I choose the lowest carb ones that are on sale. This week it was the Wonder Bread kind, the whole wheat version. And the cheese slices I buy when they're on sale and they last me forever. And then just some eggs. And the eggs, and that's it, super fast. Um, so these are really a great staple for when we go groceries and do our meal prep. And then the other thing that I eat for breakfast and I wanna show you, it literally takes two minutes it's yogurt and berries with walnuts. So I measure, and I love these containers I got from Walmart. I love the inserts. It makes it very easy to take it on the go. There's half a cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt with one teaspoon of sugar-free syrup, half a cup of berries in there, and then two teaspoons of chopped walnuts. And I just measure it all in, put it in the container, pop it in the fridge, and away you go. And if you don't have a container like that, I'll show you this other version where it's the berries and the yogurt in here. And then I got a smaller container for the walnuts. Yeah. And, and that's it. So the breakfast, that's it. I've got my yogurt already made and the English muffin egg sandwich literally takes like three minutes. Then you, you, bring your wa you bring your water jugs with you. You're good to go. That, that old saying, you are what you eat, is, is very true. Just choose the best, clean, whole foods that you can afford. Yep. And, and that, that you can prep quickly and that you like. And that you like. Yeah. And if you are looking at this and you're like, I cannot eat the same food every day, that's okay. What you can do, get two or three different kinds of veggies, two or three different types of carbs, two or three different types of proteins, do a gigantic meal prep, cook it all. You probably only have it. meal prep once every three weeks. Yeah, or even once a month. Yeah. I know people. I know people I've seen online who prep for at least a month and then pull it all out um, as they need it. Oh, one more question to answer before we go. We often get asked, well, wh where do you? How do you store it all? So what we'll do is we'll put one of each container in the fridge 
and freeze the rest. Yeah, so we'll eat from that one container in the fridge. When it gets low, we pull out the next one from the freezer. And what we do is we just measure it out with measuring cups and then we weigh the meat on a scale. And then when we're low, we pull out the next one and we often get asked, how do we reheat the food? We measure our servings out and pop it in the microwave. So, sit, quick, simple, cheap, tasty. Keeps ya lean and mean. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this video. Check us out on Instagram, at DeColette, because we are often posting meal preps on there, meal ideas, doing a little bit of and a little bit of and a and showing <laughs> and everything. So get on there, at DeColette. And you know, you don't want to miss these cool videos. I'm telling you. So hit the bell for notifications. Yes, yeah, some of our subscribers say, hey, I missed this video. And we say, hey, you got to hit that bell, man. Get that bell. Ding it. Okay? Because otherwise you'll be really sad. You don't want to be sad. Okay? I know you don't. And so then, the last thing you got to do, if you didn't know how to do it, like and subscribe, dudes, will ya? Or what? Or what? The baby corn eyeballs of doom. Uh -oh. <laughs> they became my eyes. Ew. <laughs> Old corn eyes, they used to call you back in high school. Thanks for watching, dudes. <laughs> Peace out. Pull that sound. See you guys. <laughs> hey, you disappeared. Can see your feet. <laughs>